hello, hello. William Barr, in his infinite lack of wisdom, has decided to not prosecute the police officer who uh, murdered Eric Gardner with an illegal chokehold after, and, and while he was dying, Eric Gardner said, I can't breathe 11 times. But uh, the Department of Justice decided they're not going to prosecute, specifically, William Barr decided they were not gonna, he, he, he was not going to, we're not, we're not prosecuting. Okay, so, um, hmm, I've put down a few cards already, but let me show you what I've got and then we'll go from there. In the past, you know, this is what people feel that the, the police and that what the justice system means to minorities. It's just, in, I mean, look, this is what happened. And this is, this is Eric Gardner. Suffocating. In the past. All right. Base of the reading. You have institutional garbage. Lies and ridiculousness and garbage. Institutionalized. Above the reading, you have the, the strength of the Department of Justice and Barr deciding what gets prosecuted and what doesn't. And he's in a position of strength and he can do whatever he wants. What I absolutely love so far is at the center of the reading, poor William Barr feeling, feeling put upon, feeling attacked. Meanwhile, someone really was attacked, and he does nothing. Consciously chooses to do nothing. All right, so what's gonna happen here? In general, or specifically with Barr, right, let me just quickly put these down. Home environment. Hopes and fears. What other people see. Final outcome one, two, and three. Okay. Near future one, near future two. I know what I want this to mean. I want this to mean that Barr's going to be under attack and he's going to be looking for a new job. I can dream. Um, but the, the policies that have, these are, this is the card of your ships coming in. What you've, what you've sent out comes back to you. And it's all, it's all going to come home. That's what, that's what this is saying. It's all going to come back to Barr and the DOJ. I hope specifically to bar. Home environment. Yes, because he's he will do any bar will do anything to suck up to the the racist in chief. Anything. Trump won, therefore bar will do anything. Hopes and fears. Well, the the basis of the hopes and fears are the Democrats. You know that we're hoping that they will grow spines and do something about all of this and the, on the other side they're just happy that they have the democrats haven't really grown spines and are doing something about this what other people see oh yeah william barr he just he does what he wants uh, the, the, the people stephen miller or donald trump all of them there have been no consequences for, for doing this stuff. Final outcome. One, two, three. Ooh! This is Donald Trump instead of being the emperor. And this is Donald Trump as just a man. And a man isolated. And isolated from the world. Because he's not just going to get grief from all of these horrible racist policies he's enacting. Um, the, it, not just domestically, but internationally as well. 
it's all going to it's all going to come back to reflect on him all of it all right so so it will reflect on him but is there going to be changes is there going to be justice is there going to be decency i mean i know we're headed for a pluto return and that's always that always digs up the ugliest stuff but seriously you have got to be kidding me and make making every decent policeman out there making their job 300 times harder it's trump and his money it's, well it's just tinfoil cups that are painted gold because this fortune isn't real that's what that feels like i don't know maybe because i every reading i've done says that trump it's his money that's going to bring him down it's the it's the cheating and the it's the coming to light What's going to happen? This is all Trump. Things coming to light. Ooh, especially about kids. Epstein. That's, that's Mar-a-Lago in the background. And some Trump voters on the, stopping off on the cruise ship at a port. And, but ending up losing his money out in the cold. This, all I'm, I'm getting is, is Trump losing his money. That doesn't really help Eric Gardner's family. But considering that's what I've always picked up for him, um, how he's going to end up leaving the presidency. Well, all right, so any, what's going to happen to Barr? Is he going to face any anything for this level of unconscionable injustice yes I agree phone Barr is going to have more people attacking him, and you notice how the the yellow, the coloring of these three is very similar. There's all kind of a gentle. That's all democratic energy. Demanding mercy and kindness, and and saying that America is not this bigoted. We, there, there, are, there are bigoted racist parts of our country, but as Americans, this is not, that is not what we are. This is what we are. Sort of truth, temperance, uh, community outreach. Of course they're bad people, of course we'll arrest them. But, ugh. because that's at the end, and that, that is the card of corruption. and it's it feels like it's separated from this but that this is this is the democrats gaining votes because of the racism in the republican party yep so yes trump is shooting himself in the foot Barr is shooting himself in the foot but See if there's any more information to be had here because this is this is nuts and it's an, a it's an ongoing internal fight this is my card for america and this is an ongoing argument and to some extent yes i agree that to a small extent trump is the messenger he's the symptom but he's a symptom with the nuclear codes. He's a symptom with the entire Secret Service's back, living in the White House. It's a little bit more than a messenger, guys. Not you guys, but card, spirit, guide, people. It's going to be an ongoing, yeah, because we're headed for the, I'll, I'll make a, bit, a video about this if 
I hope someone would be interested, but um, we're headed for the Pluto, the Saturn Pluto conjunction in Capricorn in next January 2020, which all astrologers are talking about. It's, it's a big deal. Oh dear. And um, the America's Pluto return in February, I want to say February 2022. So yeah, we've got some turmoil coming, but we're purging. So yeah, this is this is the GOP and the Trump Trumpsters now, but the party's not going to last. That's what it feels like, very, very much so. And their secrets are going to come out. And also, it feels like they're kind of disappearing behind. So, yeah, the Republican Party has just shot itself in the foot like nobody's business. Oh, and that's what's sitting on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm getting. This is... This injustice is just unconscionable. But I probably don't need to tell you that. But thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll get through this. We will just breathe and, and just remember that there are so many people in the world right now who are good and who do believe in equality. I always, I, I always joke, uh, my, my own spiritual beliefs is that each of us, our souls, are just a tiny little spark of the divine. And it's kind of like Oprah. You're a spark of the divine, and you're a spark of the divine, and you're a spark of the divine, and everybody's a spark of the divine. And it doesn't matter what color your skin is or what country you're from. That's not, no, that doesn't matter. We're all, we're all the same. We're all from the same source. We are made of the same stuff. Yeah, and it's just what you choose to do with that energy is, is your choice while you're on this planet. But yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm waiting. This, this Trump party can end any time and I'd be fine with that. All right, as long as it doesn't end violently, that's all I ask. All right. Well, uh, thank you. For, thank you again for watching. Hang in there. We'll be okay. We, we will. It'll take time. It'll take patience. But there are still good people. And as long as there's still good people, we will be okay eventually. All right. Thank you.